Hello everybody, I'm Willy123T here with part 21 of Pokemon Leaf Green Christian Run. Alright, so in this episode we're going to be taking on the 7th gym, the Cinnabar gym that specializes in fire types. And uh, the main gym leader is, the main gym, like there's more than one gym leader or something. I don't know, I'm stupid, but the gym leader is Blaine. Better being uh, for this gym, you better bring burn heal. But I'm not packing any burn heal. I don't know why I was Paul so much green for so long. Yeah, fucking must have been doing something and forgot to uh, pause the recording or something. Anyways, let's get right into this. Uh oh, I'm gonna stand still for a little longer and check shit, I guess, because that seems to be what I'm doing. Oh, it's a good thing I have broom because broom is gonna just utterly destroy this gym. Like, it's not even funny how amazing Broom's gonna just wipe the floors. Oh, shit, did you see what I did there? Wipe the floor, Broom, and fuck it. Alright, so he's just gonna be surfing away all this shit. And it's gonna be fantastic. Just look at this. He's a monster. She's a monster. My bad. I'm sorry, ladies. She's a monster. In a good way. Alright, so we're gonna skip that faggot. Alright, let's go over here. Uh... You know, I don't really feel like battling these guys, you know, I'm not feeling it, so, uh... Uh, a nice thing about this gym, there's an alternative to battling the trainers prior to the gym leader, and that is, these machines here, you can answer the questions, they, they give you questions pertaining to the game, and uh, various Pokemon trivia and whatnot, and if you answer the question correctly, then you get to, uh, you know, move on from that little chamber place into the next one without having to battle anyone. So, uh, that's actually a really cool feature, I think. So, uh, because you can, you can reserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, and it's not like I really need to, because, uh, you know, Broom is just completely OP in this gym, but I just kind of felt like doing it, uh, because it'd probably take up less time. Plus, I won't have to use up the power points on Surf. That could also be, uh, problematic. Because, you know, it's not at the level where it can learn Hydro Pump, so I really wouldn't have anything else to use. So I guess it's a good thing that um, I uh, am doing this. And, as you see, I got all the questions correct, because I'm fucking awesome! I'm just so cool like that. He said you better have Burn Heal. I don't have Burn Heal. Fuck you, old guy. I don't need Burn Heal to kick your ass. Alright, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that pony just got fucked up. Uh, uh, so I think this Rapidash actually ended up taking Broom out, but uh, I don't really care because Slick Dick can come in and take care of the job. Uh, but uh, I think, uh, you know, Sparrow deserves some experience. So, yeah, fantastic. Took out that shit, but now Arcanine's gonna come in and kill that. So uh, let's just, let's see if we can get some experience for Scootaloo. I don't really know. It doesn't really seem like Scootaloo's doing much. Plus that takedown's really powerful. I was surprised, especially because it's not stabbed. So I don't know what the hell was doing so much there. Uh, so, uh, you know, Slick Dick's going to come in to finish the job with the Dragon Rage. And that is going to give us uh, whatever gym badges, whatever the gym badge is called, and the TM for Fire Blast, which is a very strong move. And I uh, probably should have taught it to Slick Dick, actually. I don't know if it's better than Flamethrower. I don't really know those. Uh, what your moves, it's uh, stats and whatnot. Alright, so this is something that they added from the, you know, to give a new feel so it wasn't just like a total rehash of the original games. This is uh, one of the unique things about the remakes. It's the, Sevi the seven islands, as in like one island, two island, three island, which are the only islands that I actually explore, or that are required to explore at this point. So uh, Bill, he meets you back at uh, Cinnabar Island after you defeat Blade, and he's going to take you here into uh, one island, and he says you need to deliver something to a guy that I believe is on Three Island. No, he's on Two Island. And then you have to go to Three Island, defeat a biker gang, which you'll see here in a, s a couple minutes. Actually, uh, you won't see that in a couple minutes. You'll probably see it in more like three minutes. But, uh, because I didn't know what I was doing at all. I was like, what the fuck? I just want to go back to Cinnabar. I didn't think this was required shit. What the hell? So, anyways, I need to eat some Doritos, because that's what I do. So, if you'll excuse me. Alright, thanks. Just eating chill pills out of a potato chip bag. My little head earbud things keep falling out, which is really annoying. 
Okay, um, yeah, there's pretty much nothing up here. Mm. Also, at one island, if you surf to the right, you will be on some sort of thing. You'll be on a path, pretty much, to get to Mount Ember. And at Mount Ember, you can find Moltres. But, you know, since I'm doing a Christian run, I'm not allowed to capture legendaries. So I saw absolutely no point in traveling there just to kill Moltres and wasting time. So, fuck that. We're gonna go uh, get on with this. The main quest that's actually required. And I think I just kind of derp around for a couple more minutes here. Yeah, because if you don't go talk to the guy that, um... If you don't go talk to the guy in Two Island at the game corner, then, um, this biker gang scene won't really do anything. You'll just see him arguing with these two guys over there. So, we need to go back to Two Island after I figure out, you know... I don't know it took me a while to piece that together. <laughs> don't really know why. I guess it's just because I wasn't reading, which, uh, it's definitely my biggest downfall when it comes to RPGs is I don't read shit. God damn. So yeah, this guy's like, my daughter is getting raped. Oh boy. Alright, so we gotta, uh, fucking do something, I guess. Just get the... Yeah, alright, so biker guy comes in here, he's like, Huh, oh, fucking dicks, uh, my bike's uh, totally, dude, get me the fuck out of here. And he's like, this isn't your house. And he's like, I'm drunk, and then he leaves. Alright, nothing to do there afterwards. So, now you're done with Two Island, that's, that's all you need from Two Island. Go to Three Island, and that's all you, Three Island's the only island left, and it's a fairly eventful island. Alright, here we are. So, you have to fight each and every one of these bikers. Which really isn't too bad if you're, uh, as awesome as me, but, I mean, if you're underleveled or something, these guys will fuck you up. Just like, look at them. I mean, we've got broom, so we're just gonna wipe the floor, but... Fuck, man. It's pretty stupid they make you fight each and every one of them. Like, wh why is there no one here to help me? Why do I have to be fucking Batman here? Oh, god damn. Luckily, there's quite a few of them that only have, like, one Pokemon, so, yeah. But they have annoying-ass Pokemon, like Grimer and Coughing, that'll poison you and shit. And, uh, you know, create mm, pretty problematic situations. That'd be a good name for a song, Problematic Situation. Am I the only one that thinks that? Oh, fuck it. Alright, so these guys are going to be like, yes, thank you so much, you're going to have a full restore, because that is totally going to fucking help your shit. Alright, so I'm going to heal up, and uh, I think we're going to bring this episode to an end here in a little bit. We'll find Lostel in the next episode, because uh, she's up north in some forest place. So I'm going to talk to this fat ass up in this cave. He's going to be like, yeah, I want to move to Kanto and get rich and shit. So uh, that's it for this episode, thank you guys for watching. And remember to subscribe to Witty123T, motherfuckers. Goddamn.